Guys, welcome back. Hey, they're only original once, right? So we're stripping this 58 back to original agave green. Head on out, pop that nose out of that VW bus, and we'll bring you back for some updates on this 58 rag top. Hey guys, well I decided to take a break from stripping paint. I just got this porta potty power in the other day, so I thought I'd give my hand a try at popping this nose out. Looks pretty straightforward, right? Problem is that tube does not remove itself all the way. I mean, you can see how far this headlight is in. See it there, and you can't even see it over there. So it's really, really pushed in. You can see up top our uh, turn signals way in. So this cover. You know this cover comes off but then behind it you still have that that tube in place i've never done this before but uh we're gonna just give it a shot all right we'll go check it A good pop so you've got this lower section to pop this is what I was pushing on right here so you can see we have to get up here somehow and try and pull this out this will be last I think question is how do we get up there we're gonna get up in here though might be able to get in there where that little contact point is It's moving. Uh, maybe try pushing here. Yeah, that scared me. Might have to go from this pillar all the way in there. So that would be in here. I'd like to get right in here, right? But I don't think, you know, we can't. Okay, well you guys are probably screaming at me to take this off. Looks like we're gonna try to push right here. What do you think? So that's probably this area right here. So hopefully when we get here, it'll help pull that out. I'm gonna get right here. I can't get there. We'll go higher up. We'll go up in this corner. We'll see how that works. Now we're seeing that headlight bucket move. It's actually popping this out too. These things are sweet. If only I knew how to use it. Yeah, because I'm distorting the headlight bucket now. Ah, oh, shoot. Getting a little uh, ahead of myself as usual. Went too far. Let's try to get up top, I guess. I didn't murder that too bad. Looks like we're getting somewhere. Just keep trying to push on this side. I'd love to get something right in there, but I don't think we can. But hey, it's it looks better. It's getting there. I will say this, if you've never used one or you don't have one of these, man, they're they're pretty cool. Come with a, quite a few accessories. Which one is this? Red dog or big dog or big 
Big Red Jacks. It's a four ton. I think it was like 150 bucks online. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Got some poppage. We knew that was the easy part. We've got to get this out, and I can't get in there. I'm gonna have to maybe use a pick or something to try to push it out. whole headlight bucket nice Like our headlight bucket came back a little bit. Should be more straight on here. So yeah, that coming out is pulling the headlight bucket, which is sweet. Look at that, nice. Hey, that's getting there. I mean, you could get the turn signal on the headlight on, you could run that. Need to get a pick, try to get behind that vent and push that out some more. I don't see the headlight. I'd like to see if it will mount up. However, Dubworks hasn't paid me for this 71 Westy yet. Therefore, you know, I still kind of own it. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Well, I managed to find some parts just to give it a preview of what it could look like. Give it a little more hope. You know me, I like to throw the eyeballs in cars when they're missing. So we do have to come out a little more but let's head over to the other garage and grab some 58 parts. We need to get a few parts down. I know the red interior. Well, there it is. You guys are saying it's going to be like Christmas. So is everybody else. However, I just want to put a front seat in it, sit in the car, get a feel for the car, put some rollers on. I think those are five spokes. I'm not putting those on the car for good, but in case I do have to push it around, those will be good. For you new guys here wondering what's in the garage, we have a plethora of 90s MX. Shine a little more light here. So this is the 66 Coupe, original engine. I bought that the day before I had my second ACL surgery. 56 convertible, was free on Martha's Vineyard. It's Gen 67 convertible, and my 71 ragtop car. I drove down to West Palm Beach, Florida with the sketchy trailer for that car. And this, is the uh, 2387. It's not fancy looking, but man, it sure goes. This was the first car I bought in 2014 which got me back into VWs since I was a kid. Check that out, 82 bug out. That is a real GT wheel. 
And I forgot the 65 or 66 convertible. I don't know what year it is. I forgot. So let's throw the five spokes on just so it's a good roller. I did grab the uh, red seat that <laughs> no one wants me to put in the car, but it's going in. I just want to sit in the car, get a feel for it, maybe even roll it outside. Power wise, we have the 36 backup in case the original 36 is no good. Maybe pull it out anyway, rebuild it. What are my plans for the car? Probably not going to throw the 2110 in it. Paint wise, if you missed the short, here's where we're at with that. Quick update. It's taken quite some time. It's coming out really well. I'm happy with it. And some of my friends are like, leave the red. <laughs> Uh, there goes that Christmas theme. I don't know. We're going to keep going. And I'm learning as I go. Well, let's get those rims on. And I want to get a, get a seat inside this car. How's it looking? <laughs> it's not terrible. Okay. Christmas is coming. Hey. First time I'm just gonna sit in this thing. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice. First sit, guys. Wow, that is a large hole in the roof. Gotta love the rag top. I have a 66 sunroof. I was just thinking it's plenty. Wow, that's, that's a big difference. This car I drive a lot. That's a big, big difference. I'm stoked to have this car. I'm gonna continue working on this car. We're gonna get it running, do the brakes. I wanna drive this car. More updates soon on this car. Thank you for all the likes, comments. I appreciate it. So, man, I'm just so stoked to have this sweet 58. I'm gonna continue trying to get it back to Agave Original Green, and we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what kind of you know, problem areas we gotta blend, but just a great color and a great car. Super solid uh, for a New England car. I mean, solid period. Really stoked to have it. So thank you guys again. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Take care guys. What do you think of the red? I don't know. You don't know. I like, I like the red, but it look, to me it looks a little funny with the panels. Yeah, okay, but it's just temporary. Oh, yeah, I like, I like that red. Yeah, just temporary. Like Throw a couple seats in it, do the brakes, do the first drive, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so you're I okay. Like red seats. I, like, I wish that whole like, thing looked like red side. Sweet. It's barn dubs. All right, well, I just finished my video, my outro, and, you know, you're, you're in it, so. so I'm in it. So let me know what you think about the red interior. He was questioning it, and, you know, now... He's all right with it. Just, you know, just to get it driving. First drive. Throw a couple seats in it. We're not doing the door panels. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna redo it original. But just for now. Yes, right? the red. The red will look good. Yes. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. We'll see you soon, guys.